Agency in Motion Continuing Education Series brought to you by Millionaire Mindset Life. Today we're discussing a very important topic, which is the requirements for closing a sale. Remember, leads are the lifeblood of your business, but if you're not closing sales on the backside, then you really have no business. So there's seven requirements that we're going to go through today that are important to understand and execute when closing the sale. Number one, you absolutely have to be dealing with the true decision maker. And if there's more than one, you have to be dealing with all of them. Figure this out early on, or otherwise you're just gonna be wasting everyone's time involved. Number two, you have to be dealing with a prospect that has the ability to pay. You know, most prospects can get the money if they want something that you're selling bad enough. But there are times when they just can't. Don't spend your business hours trying to sell to someone who can't pay. Number three, you have to be sold on the product. If you're selling something you don't believe in, that shows through your confidence and that lack of confidence is going to absolutely kill sales. Number four, you don't believe in yourself. You don't stay out drinking, partying the night before. You're only gonna drag yourself down the next day. You have to believe in yourself enough to act like a professional and bring your A game each and every day that you work on your business. Number five, your buyer has to have the confidence in the product that you're selling. The product has to solve a real problem and the prospect has to believe 100% that it will. Remember, you're not selling a product, you're selling a solution to a problem. And if you don't identify that problem, you don't identify the motivating factor that's going to take them to the next step, then they're never, ever, ever gonna take the next step. Number six, you need to present a written offer. You know, almost three quarter of salespeople don't use written offers. Instead, they just expect the prospect to remember all of the details. That's very, very confusing. And you know what confused people don't do? They don't buy. So you need to lay out, you know, the agreement, what you're going to offer, the commitment from both sides. Make sure it's wrapped up in a nice, neat written offer that's easily understood. Um, and then it creates excitement about working with you. And then finally, number seven. Your offer has to have an urgency built in. It's not enough just to make your prospect want to buy. They have to buy right now. They have to have a reason to get off the fence. Maybe your price is only good until a certain time, or maybe you throw in a value-added bonus if they you know, go ahead and pull the trigger today. Figure out a way to add urgencies into your sales, your sales presentations, and watch your closing rates uh, skyrocket. So those are it. Those are the you know, the seven must-haves for closing sales. Agency in Motion uh, continues to offer educational material about building, operating, and managing agencies in the 21st century.